wonderful friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 21st, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. And happy solstice, everybody. This is the first day of winter for the Northern Hemisphere. Welcome to winter 2022-2023. Already ramping up to be a pretty crazy one, eh? Our sun, pretty quiet, only releasing C-class solar flares and minor R1 radio blackouts are expected as they were in an Earth-facing position. Coming from these two, turning into view sunspot regions, northern and southern hemisphere, looking at outgoing images of our sun, as we did have quite the backside CME to report two days ago. No major CMEs have been thwarted our way. A couple plasma filaments, and that's about it. Big solar sunspots are turning out. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see the darkened regions, which are the coronal holes. Stretched out behind the Earth facing and in front of the, those incoming sunspots. You can see on the top right hand side that CME blast from a couple days ago. Luckily, all of these CME blasts have not been in an earth facing fashion, but we do have quite a bit of activity coming around from the backside of the sun, as we've seen in the past few days. Looking at our sun in another light here, we can really see our heliosphere in action and as well those active sunspot regions. Huge plasma root loops and just some amazing imagery. Looking here at Lasco 2, showing all of the sun's energy taking off from our sun from the 19th into the 21st, the first day of winter. And thank you all for joining and watching today's video. If you enjoy all of this information shared, please don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe share with your friends and family. Having a look at solar x-ray flux, as you can see, a couple C-class solar flares to report just recently and about five altogether in the past 48 hours. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 409 kilometers per second. And not too much to talk about for the solar wind topping out at 432 kilometers per second. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing our last CME taking off in an outgoing fashion. A little yellow circle there is our planet Earth. And here is our new CME taking off towards Venus. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 10. That's the most it's been in over a week. Quick look at the telemetry there. Quality of 8.2, power of 6, and amplitude of 10. Now let's get to earthquakes here. And we're going to log in all the earthquakes since that 6.4 earthquake California, because that is the largest to report in the last 48 hours. 6.4, Ferndale, California, 17 kilometer depth. Did destroy quite a few homes, and a lot of people felt that earthquake. Minor swarm continued in the region, about 150 earthquakes, and as well north of that, off the coast of Oregon, reporting a 4.9. Stanley, Idaho, reporting a 3.9 as well. Pretty rare for such a sizable earthquake. Mentone, Texas, still seeing minor activity. And as well, Gigido Islands region, 5.2, Mexico. Sizable earthquakes here, Barbuda, 5.2, 4.4, and a 4.8. Caribbean zone is a hop, and right now, Colombia reporting a 4.9. And then our deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 166 kilometer depth, 4.6, and a 4.5 there, San Antonio de Cobros. A couple rare earthquakes here to report, the Mid-Indian Ridge, and as well, Southwest Indian Ridge. 4.9 and up to 5.1 magnitude. 
Indian Plate, most recent activity there, 4.4 Afghanistan, 118 kilometer depth. And then it's pretty quiet across the Philippines Plate and southwest regions of the Pacific. Seeing increasing activity here through the Kermadex, 5.2 and a 5.4. Too quiet through Japan. One 5.0 earthquake that report Curl Islands. King Cove, Alaska with a 4.9 earthquake. Minor activity brewing through Anchorage and northward. Quick glance here at the last 48 hours, or sorry, the last seven days for earthquakes across the globe. As we've seen things increased throughout the day, two days ago with the 6.4, about 150 earthquakes following that. So we are ranging about 315 to 320 across the USGS map. And right now we're sitting at about 220. So back down to our average range, largest this week, 6.2, 6.4, sorry, Ferndale, California. Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes and weather. Reventador in Ecuador, Nevadas de Ruz, Colombia, Sangue in Ecuador, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Popocatito in Mexico. Carrying on here amongst the 201 active hazards era in Japan. Fuego in Guatemala, Sabincaya in Peru, and as well, Semeru in Indonesia 12 hours ago. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today, and I'm pretty sure the count is just under 45 active and erupting volcanoes across the world. Be giving you an update here soon with the volcanic activity report. Got extreme cold conditions, Kenora, Ontario, and will be moving eastward. Extreme cold conditions, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and BC. As well, British Columbia and Vancouver just got a foot of snow. Winter storms being reported in Japan. Heavy snow falls through the region. As well, tropical cyclone Darien is still alive as it ramped itself up to a Category 3 hurricane. And watch for the track coming up with the weather forecast. Lots of flood alerts across Africa. And as well, it's snowing through parts of Germany and Poland and Latvia. Europe's seeing their fair share of winter weather already. Speaking of weather, let's get to the world weather forecast. Starting out here overlooking Canada as we do have that big low ramping up and getting ready to move in. It's going to be sucking up some tropical moisture from the South Atlantic. Ahead of that, you're going to watch stormy conditions brew all along the East Coast. And then those cold temperatures will be dipping down as far south as Florida. Could be some record-breaking cold temperatures with this large system, as it's been forecast here with daily events worldwide for about a week now. Having a look across the West Coast as there is quite a bit of moisture moving in. Looking at Christmas Eve and into Christmas Day, lots of moisture. Boxing Day, you've got a big low that makes landfall and then another one to follow. Atmospheric river of systems and moisture coming in for the West Coast. BC, Washington, Oregon, and California. Heads up, you could see some flash flood warnings and as well some mudslides through California. Heavy snowfalls as well through the higher elevations. Big system there brewing up into the new year. Huge Colorado low. We'll have to see what that one does come the new year. I want to wish everybody happy holidays out there. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay in love with your family and friends. And I hope you enjoy the time. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times. Christmas Day but not much to talk about. Overlooking Africa, atmospheric river of moisture still kind of affecting them and across Madagascar. But will be thinning out throughout the week. 
overlooking Europe, as you've got one low centered over you now, and then you've got a couple more heading in for Christmas Day. Watch for snowfall through the region and as well overcast skies. Overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific, do have a cyclone here trying to develop east of India. Looks like that'll be making landfall Christmas Day for parts of Sri Lanka. Then, of course, we've got Darien, Cyclone Darien. This is the forecast track as it heads west and then south and then southeast. So not going to be affecting Madagascar in the long range. And then you've got a very intense low-pressure system heading into parts of northern Australia. It's going to affect you right up until after Christmas. Northern parts are going to be inundated by rain. And as well, pretty strong system heading towards parts of northern New Zealand in the long range. So heads up. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean, showing this atmospheric river right across the Pacific that will be penetrating the West Coast, United States and Canada. Much love, everybody, and Merry Christmas. We're going to see you again tomorrow for the Daily Do. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Much love. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.